Retire Cheap Dad Asia. You know, it's been a while since I've responded. I'm always trying to keep up with retirement news, things in the, in the news about retirement or about uh, retirement finances, things like that. And uh, if I find something of value or I think is useful or relates to what I do, um, I like to bring it to uh, y'all's attention. So here's uh, from the Kansas City Star, dated Saturday, Saturday August 18th, 2012, uh, by Diane Stafford. Um, it's a long article, so I've, uh, I've taken some of the information uh, out to be able to, to just pinpoint some high points for you. Um, but it's still a lot of information. So anyway, it's scary, though, because it really applies to what are your options. You know, I always say there's always an option. And so this is really important for me to show people that there are options. And um, I'll tell you why. This is why you need options, and a lot of people need options. The article says, for many, for many boomers, retirement age is a moving target. More people in their 50s and 60s are staying on their jobs longer or finding post-retirement work. Just how much the Great Recession reshaped what many baby boomers thought retirement would look like is becoming clearer. More than ever, they, are now, they now expect to retire later and work when they're retired. Now, wait a minute. Now, if they're expected to retire later or work when they're retired, if you're working, you're not retired. How can you work when you're retired? If you're retired, you, you don't work. We're changing the definitions of these things like retirement. Retirement used to mean you didn't work. Well, now retirement you work. In 1991, okay, just one in ten workers told the Employee Benefit Research Institute that they planned uh, to wait to retire until they were older than 65. Okay, so 90, 1991, one in ten. They were going to wait until they were older than 65. By 2007, three in ten said that. This year, more than four in ten. Okay that they're going to wait to retire. <coughs> Excuse me. Small wonder that, according to the Pew Research Center, boomers are the gloomiest of all age groups about the health and future of their finances. Boomers were more likely than any other age group to tell Pew researchers that they lost money on investments since the recession hit. Nearly six in ten. Six in ten, that's sixty percent, said their household finances worsen. Sixty percent are in worse shape now. Overall, the stage is set for a new normal, working in retirement. That suits William Brockman just fine. The 65-year-old working retiree began a new job this year at a child care center in Oakland Park, where he, is del he delightfully calls himself a shepherd to flocks of children four days a week. <clears throat> I truly believe the more active one stays both mentally and physically, the better the quality of life, Brockman said. I agree wholeheartedly. If you move to another country, become an expat, do not sit in a bar, do not sit and drink. Do something that stimulates your mind, gives you a reason to wake up every morning. Um, and exercise. I just did a video for YouTube about fitness centers in Chiang Mai over here. So you still got to stay mentally and physically uh, active. So, his first post-retirement job was at a grocery store as a grocery store courtesy clerk. When that ended, he jumped at the daycare center opportunity in order to have more income. And I found that in retirement, every day is Saturday, so to speak. Now my days are special. The number of older workers have grown more rapidly than any other age group in the last few years. Now, re listen to that. The number of older workers has grown more rapidly than any other age group. This year, 18.6% of those 65 or older were participating in the labor force. 65 years or older, 18% are working, compared with 13% in 2002. At the same time, older workers represent a disproportionately large share, 40% of people who have been trying to get back into the workforce for the last year. 40% of the whole workforce are baby boomers trying to get back in and get jobs. This is incredible information to me. <clears throat> you think about these numbers, it's staggering. The prospects are dim. So you think you can get work, the prospects are dim for older workers who lose their jobs, says Christine Owens, who's the executive director of the National Employment Law Project. 
they have the highest rates of long-term unemployment of any group. Gee, I wonder why. Dem demographers warned for years that social and economic stress when baby boomers began retiring in droves, after all, baby boomers representing slightly more than one-fourth of the U.S. population are hitting the age of 65 at the rate of 10,000 a day. Incredible numbers, huh? <clears throat> one in every four 65-year-olds today will give, one in every four 65-year-olds today will live past the age of 90, and one in 10 will live past 95. So you think you might find work if you're retired? Easy to go out and get a job? Let's see. Those expectations are a stark contrast to the actual work experience of already retired Americans. While about 7 in 10, 70%, say they expect to work for pay in retirement, only 2 in 10, 20%, of current retirees have actually drawn paychecks, paychecks since they retire. Social Security remains most boomers hope for retirement income. On average, U.S. workers are beginning to take their Social Security benefits at age 63.8. How much should be saved for retirement by the time you're 66? The answer depends on income and lifestyle. That's why I created my RetireCheap.Asia. Income and lifestyle, they have to match. Okay, if you lower your lifestyle amount that you need to spend on lifestyle, then you need to, you can lower your income needed to participate, to, to play in that arena. So this is really important. But listen to this. One guideline suggests taking, this is how expensive it is, to live back home. One guideline suggests taking your final working salary and multiplying it by 11. Okay, example, if your salary is $50,000, that recommends that you save more than half a million dollars by the time you retire in order to maintain your lifestyle. Consider too that more than one third of Americans say they're living paycheck to paycheck. 33% are living paycheck to paycheck according to the Consumer Federation of America. That leaves no savings cushion at all. Some have no savings. A study by Ernst & Young, Americans for Secure Retirement, found that three out of five, three out of five Missourians and Kansans can expect to outlive their financial assets. Three out of five are gonna live longer than their money. Near retirees need to reduce their standard of living by more than one third to reduce the likelihood of outliving their assets to a 5% risk, the study said. Aside from financial worries, that's not enough, right? Emotional concern haunt many boomers as they wrestle with pending retirement. Kansas City lifestyle coach Lori Eagles finds more of her practice involves counseling boomer clients who speak of retirement as falling off of a cliff. They fear losing their identity, missing the structure work, or being bored to tears. I read this stuff and I'm just aghast. But it's true and it's happening. And there's not a lot that we can do as retirees or consumers. <clears throat> Unemployment's high. For baby boomers, it's even higher. It's harder to get a job. Um, if you haven't applied for Social Security yet or you're in a small, uh, younger age group, they will actually deduct benefits from you uh, if you start earning money until you get your full benefit package. Um, so I don't see, for me, now again, this is always my opinion, I don't see that uh, that that option of working when you're, you know, from 65 to 70 years old or something as a good one. Now it's up to you. You can work if you want to. You can find a job that's fulfilling and satisfying and give you a little extra income. That's great. If you want to pack up, uh, sell all your stuff, get a little camper or a van and go live at the beach someplace, that's cool too. Uh, get a little trailer, move to some place where it's inexpensive, that's cool too. But you're going to have to change your lifestyle and try and change your lifestyle so it gets you to a place where you're still stimulated on a daily basis. Um, 
If you're trying to learn a new language, uh, deal with uh, unfamiliar surroundings and everything, you're constantly using your cognitive skills. Uh, the survival mechanism kicks in, and you got to really start paying attention and stimulate your mind. So I suggest getting out there, seeing some new places, look at your options of where you want to live. Maybe you want to learn Spanish instead of Thai language, or Khmer instead of uh, Thai language, uh, wherever it is. But go out and start paying attention to what your options are. Just don't click on the TV set and, uh, and distract yourself. And I always think it's like, you know, I say this to my parents, you know, their money's going faster, there's, uh, the, there's more month left at the end of the money, so, you know, their retirement savings is dwindling. And it's sort of like a, uh, a car or a truck running full speed headed for a brick wall. Don't wait till you hit the wall and then say, oh, now what do I do? You need to start thinking about this before you get to that point. You still have assets, you still have choices, while you still have some, some financial resources. So think about it before you get to that, that time where it's, uh, it's critical, okay? So that's my thoughts and opinions on that article. Um, really, it's not much information to give you to make decisions with, but it is something that I, I want you to be aware of and, uh, and start thinking about, okay? So I hope that's been helpful. When it comes to uh, living your retirement, uh, your golden years, remember, hey, there's always an option.